In this video, I will demonstrate the preparation of succinic anhydride from succinic acid and acetic anhydride following the procedure in Vogel's Practical Organic Chemistry. This method is fast and high yielding compared to the other methods such as thermal dehydration. However, it does require the use of acetic anhydride, which can be challenging to source. Though I will discuss some other ways of dehydrating succinic acid later in the video. To begin, 43.8 grams of succinic acid was loaded into a 500 ml round bottom flask. This was followed by the addition of 76 grams of acetic anhydride. The apparatus was arranged for reflux and a calcium chloride drying tube was added to protect from atmospheric moisture. The flask was then set in an oil bath at 105 degrees Celsius to allow for the heating of the reaction mixture. The mixture was allowed to heat for an hour, over which time the succinic acid gradually dissolved, leaving a clear solution. The heat was then removed from the flask and it was allowed to slowly cool to room temperature. The mixture ended up supercooling and you can see the succinic anhydride crystallizing out in real time. The flask was then cooled on ice, broken up, and filtered off, washing with two 30 ml portions of anhydrous diethyl ether. The product was then transferred into a crystallizing dish and dried in a vacuum desiccator overnight over calcium chloride. You shouldn't air dry this product as it is an anhydride and is susceptible to hydrolysis from atmospheric moisture. The literature melting point of succinic anhydride is 119 to 120 degrees Celsius. I ended up with a melting point of 118.5 degrees Celsius which when rounded is perfect. I ended up with 30.2 grams of succinic anhydride which corresponds to an 81% yield. And compared to the literature yield of 90%, this is pretty good. There are some other methods to make succinic anhydride without acetic anhydride through the thermal dehydration. However, most of these are based on patent literature which is notoriously unreliable. I looked around to see if there was any amateur procedures for the thermal dehydration, but didn't really find anything, so if you know of one, leave a comment. I plan to use this succinic anhydride in the Friedel Crafts reaction with biphenyl to make the NSAID fembufen, which you'll see in an upcoming video. Thanks for watching.